Hey guys, Tony George, Thursday update here, DocSports.com, right there, the place to be. Um, gonna get right to it today, gonna be short and sweet, press for time today, doing a lot of uh, off-season work in the Major League Baseball, which has kept me very busy. That season's, you know, about three weeks, we got an early bird discount over at Docs. Speaking of Major League Baseball, we put up a Gambling 101 um, handicapping tips for Major League Baseball yesterday. It's in the uh, Gambling 101 section here on this page. Go go check it out. I just gave you some basic insights uh, into uh, my thought process and handicapping Major League Baseball, obviously off uh, an epic year last year. Um, many of you uh, reached out to customer service wanting to see that spreadsheet yesterday. That I held up, you know, to show you, you know, how he got to 144 units last year. And we sent it to you. That's right. 100% transparent. So uh, early bird discounts over there. Be sure and uh, take advantage of that um, in a Major League Baseball right now. I don't know how long it's going to be up. It's like 150 off. It's like less than 800 bucks for the entire season, including postseason. You need to go over there and invest and get ready. Um, and the answer to many of your questions is no. I do not handicap Major League Baseball preseason. These guys are using seven or eight or nine pitchers a game. You can't handicap that. You handicap what you see in results and put that in the memory bank, but nonetheless, uh, be sure and get over and check that out. Um, yesterday, a rare loss in the NBA on uh, Boston. Um, we haven't had, we've only had two back-to-back -back losing cards in the NBA. This tells you how consistent we've been. Only two back-to-back -back losing cards since December 28th of 2018. It's now March, as of midnight tonight. I will tell you this. I have a four-unit play in the NBA last night. It is out of a system scenario that is absolute money. If I would not have lost yesterday, I would have made this at least a six-unit play. At least. But being prudent... Being low volume, being the majority of the time a flat better, I kept it at four units. If you have been sitting on the sidelines wanting to jump on board in the NBA in the right spot with Tony George, tonight would be your night. Doc Sports. College basketball, loss on Davidson last night. First half line. Um, it's three, we've lost uh, four or five in a row now. Not good. I'm not going to hype this card up. I have a first half line in the Big Ten game tonight, and I have a game out west. Six unit card. I need to sweep this. This is a must win card. I spent hours getting this thing ready, singling out, making every phone call I could to every sharp I know, and we were all in agreement on both of these plays, so I plan on a big night tonight. College basketball free play last night. Tennessee never got off the bus. That doesn't bode well for them going in to play Kentucky this weekend. I don't want to tip my hand, but I'm going to be looking real hard at Kentucky this weekend. This is when the noose gets tight and Rick Barnes chokes. And now he's going up against one of the best college basketball coaches in college basketball this weekend. And a team that's freaking red hot that plays defense that takes you out of your game. There'll be a number hanging on Kentucky. You might want to take a look at it. A little look ahead free play spot for you. Nonetheless, let's get a free play night. We're staying away from college basketball. Uh, we're going to go with the NBA. And uh, if you watched the NBA last night, some uh, disturbing results. Uh, none of them more disturbing than Golden State getting beat as a huge favorite um, at Miami. Back-to-back -back scenario. They're playing Orlando. Orlando was hot going in the break. Well, now they've had losses to Chicago. Bulls and the New York Knicks, two of the biggest bottom feeders in the NBA. And you're catching Golden State. Uh, they were way down. They came back. I think they lost by one. Um, but it was a lot worse than what the score indicated. Um, lethargic, not on the same page, um, poor shooting, poor decision making, turnovers at the wrong time, lack of intensity, lack of rebounding. I'm just I'm describing Golden State, not Orlando, who's the worst team in this matchup. Golden State's line six. I you might want to take a look at the halftime line too. It's going to be less than that. Golden State will come out with a purpose and authority tonight. I will lay the six with Golden State. 
Steve Kerr knows how to do rotation efficiency in back-to-back -back games, and he's got a deep enough bench to do it, and it's going to make a difference. Golden State wipes the floor tonight with the Orlando Magic. Your free play. Take a look at the halftime line, too. I'm Tony George. I'm at Doc Sports. I'm not kidding you when I tell you this NBA game that I have out tonight is pure money. It's like an ATM machine. You don't even need to enter in your PIN code. Just hit enter. Purchase the play. Stick money in your pocket. Have a great Thursday.